So when you're studying, uh, for example, the natural sciences or medicine, uh, there are probably a lot of difficult Latin names that you'll have to memorize. Uh, and to do this, you can just use your creativity uh, and some images. For example, if I were to memorize uh, the name gluteus maximus uh, and attach it to the right muscle, I'll probably see a um, picture, a, a big gladiator uh, glued to uh, my butt. Uh, and that, that image would find me that gluteus and then maximus sounds really like a gladiator name. Um, this could be a gladiator of maximal size. Uh, and uh, trapezius, um, I might just imagine a, a trapeze uh, attached to, to my back here, where the, this muscle is, and then see myself swinging back and forth with this trapeze attached to these muscles, to remember that it's these muscles. And uh, uh, this one, uh, brachioradialis, uh, I might think uh, that I have a, a small radio here, uh, in which I can talk directly to Barack, uh, Barack Obama. Uh, and if I really want to remember, like usual, that would be enough, Barack and Radio, Barack Radialis. Uh, but if I really want to, to specify uh, the exact word, uh, I might think that I'm, I'm uh, talking to Barack and he's, he's uh, greeting me with Yo. So Yo, Barack, and then, then also through this radio, uh, it, it appears as if he's uh, lis lisping. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so, so Barack, Yo, Radio, and then Lis, like lisping, so baracchio, baracchio radialis. Uh, so that might be a way of, of remembering that that is this muscle. So just seeing these images placed on your own body or, or on the muscles that you picture in front of you and just create like a small small image or visual for every uh, muscle, depending on what, what the name sounds like.